I'm Victoria Lee and welcome again to Making It Happen, where we're going to show you how to be inspired and encouraged to pursue the gifts and the callings that God has placed in your life. I am so excited about the show today. I've been waiting to hear these young men for quite some time now and I don't want to waste any more of your time. So let's take a quick break and when we get back, I'm going to introduce you to four gentlemen that you're going to love. Today I found a lucky flower. I think that's a good sign. Another family is coming this week to choose one of us. And this time, maybe, just maybe, they will choose me. Hi, welcome back. And you know, I, I, like I said earlier, we're always looking for someone to be a part of the show. And I came across these young men named Master's Voice. And after listening to some of their songs on the website, I thought they've got to be part of making it happen. I have never met them until today, but I want to welcome to you Master's Voice. Come on in, guys. <laughs> have a seat on our new little chairs here. We'd love to have you here. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for having us. You know what's so cool to me about having, uh, you know, as when I grew up, there wasn't a lot of good influence of, of men, you know, in my life. And so then when you, when you see four men that are sold out to God, you know, and wanting to spread the good news, it's so inspiring. You know, to people my age and, and younger and older, and it doesn't matter, but I'm just so proud of you that you're out there doing it. So introduce yourselves because, you know, we just met briefly and tell sure. you the truth. I don't remember all the names. <laughs> don't blame you. But, uh, so your name? My name is Ricky Caps. I sing tenor for the group. Uh, this is the lead singer for the group. His name is Jonathan Drew. Uh-huh. Uh, our baritone singer's name is Joey Johnson. And our piano player is uh, Ben Hart. Wow. I can't wait to hear. And so what's been going on in your life? How, first, let's start with how you how you met the Lord to start with. Did you grow up in a Christian home? I did grow up in a Christian home. Uh, I, I knew the right things to say, the right uh, things to do. Mm -hmm. I was drugged to church everywhere I went, you know. Uh, my mother uh, uh, raised me right. Now, are you from Oklahoma? I, well, yeah, I was okay. born and raised. Uh, we're actually born in California, but raised in Oklahoma. Okay. And uh, I was a religious person and made a couple professions of faith, but never really knew the Lord as my Savior until right. uh, about nine years ago. Really? I was one of those that uh, uh, had religion, but no relationship. And mm. our churches are full of people like sure. that, you know. And uh, when I met the Lord, uh, I can't explain it. I wish I, I could in, in words tell you, but it was just a lot. It was just real different. Once you, once you say goodbye to religion and you say yes to Christ, it's, it's a lot different. So. so did you know immediately then that you were going to just start singing? You know, actually, we were already in a group. I, I, w I had traveled with Master's Voice for five years as a lost man. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so wow. kind of an interesting... Uh, so when did Master's Voice actually start? 1995, December of 1995, we started... Uh, because you were all going to the same church, or how? how yeah, well, you know, these guys weren't uh, here from the beginning. I'm the only one that's been here for the whole... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, since the beginning. Uh, we started at, at our home church. Our pastor had asked us to sing a song on a Sunday night. 
And uh, we got together, and I'd never sung before in my life. Wow. And we, we got together, and I actually prayed, God, please don't let me faint or you know <laughs> anything. I was scared to death, and, and uh, uh, he blessed. And uh, it was probably, to be honest with you, this was 14 years ago. The first song we sung was probably Three Shades of Horrible, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it was because it was our home church. They loved us, right. you know. So we started singing every Sunday night. And before too long, other churches around in the area uh, started hearing about us, so they invited us to come. Wow. That was the birth of Master's Voice 14 years ago. That sounds like a God thing. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it certainly was. So how about you? Tell me what. I was born in Norman, Oklahoma, uh -huh. and I got saved at 16 years old and started traveling shortly after that, singing. So. Wow. So how'd you get hooked up with Master's Voice? Well, me and Ricky met. I, I was singing with another group at the time, and we sang at the same uh -huh. place. And we just started talking from there, and... Once I left that group, God just kind of worked it out to where I could come here, and it was wow. fantastic. Well, what makes it, I mean, what causes a group just to come together is, I mean, you could pick any four guys and just yeah. start singing. What, what, how do you it's know? It's a very when special it, calling. Uh, it, 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 in fact, all three of these guys that are here, uh, when we were doing auditions and, and, and interviews to, for them to come here and work here, uh, these each guy was my first choice. Really? I didn't interview anyone else until I got an answer from them. And uh, that's just because, like everything that you're supposed to do, we bathe everything in prayer. This is a very specific calling. Not only do you have to be talented mm -hmm. to do the things that we do, but uh, this is a ministry first. <coughs> and uh, we're proud to say it. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with God. Mm -hmm. But in uh, no near nearly 14 years, over 1,700 people have made professions of faith oh, in wow. Jesus Christ through the ministry wow. that God has allowed us to be a part of. So. Wow, that's fantastic. How about you? <clears throat> we have to share the mic. <laughs> I grew up in church. My dad was a pastor. And uh, for a long time, I knew something was missing in my life. When I was 20 years old, um, after just several weeks of just really being bothered about uh, using my life for a purpose to do something good, mm -hmm. and then uh, also... You know, just really considering the fact of one day I'll face eternity. And the reality of that uh, took me to a place in my life where I realized something was missing uh, with me. And uh, went to a revival meeting, and that night I got saved. And uh, from there on out, and I had been singing for years. My mom and dad and I sang. Really? And it's amazing that you can sing about Christ without even really knowing Him. Yeah. And uh, it happens, and a lot of people do that. Um, I had been in several ministries as an associate pastor and things like that. I was at a time in my life uh, about a year and a half ago where I, I didn't really know what to do next. I was between ministries and didn't know what to do. And uh, Ben and I knew each other, and Ben gave Ricky my number. And Ricky called me one day and talked for a long time. <laughs> and, uh, Watch it. <laughs> he, 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 Ricky and... and Ricky's got a wonderful personality, but he loves to talk. And just give him a, <laughs> give him somebody who'll listen. Give him an audience, and he'll he'll uh, take care of talking. Uh, but That's Ricky talked to me for a long time. And uh, Ricky asked me that day, just pray about coming out here. And I did for about a month, and just I, I tossed and turned and didn't know what to do. And I called Ricky one afternoon, and I told him that I, I wasn't going to be able to come. Well, I couldn't sleep that night. Uh, got up the next morning. My wife and I talked. And uh, we decided that we'd call Ricky. And I called Ricky and said, man, if you're still interested, let me come talk to you. Wow. And uh, the rest is history. I've been here about a year and a half. And uh, what a blessing this ministry has been. I'm just glad to be a part of it, to wow. be honest with you. That's fantastic. Last but not least, let's hear from you. Uh, I grew up in a pastor's home uh, also. My dad still is pastoring down in Florida. And um, I made a profession when I was real young and uh, just just grew up just thinking I was okay and saved and stuff like that. And uh, um, when I was 18, um, I was traveling around with my dad. He was in evangelism at the time. And uh, I went to a youth camp uh, at our home-based church mm -hmm. as a counselor. And the preacher got up and didn't say anything different than I had never heard all my life. But it just hit me that night, and I realized that I didn't get it the first time. And um, I, d I didn't waste any time before he was even done preaching. I ran down there and got wow. it taken care of that night. So. <laughs> But uh, and then uh, Rick, I was I was actually assistant pastor at the time at a church, and uh, that that had kind of ended um, 
And then uh, I was kind of looking for things to do and was always real interested in gospel music and stuff like that and came across Rick. And uh, um, the, one thing led to another. I did the audition and uh, it offered me the position and yeah. ran for it. So ben is immensely talented. Ben plays anything that makes noise. He's going to play the piano today for us, but he can play anything. Wow. He's, we don't like him because he's so talented, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, so how long have you been part of the group? Uh, just under two years. Wow. Yeah. So why did y'all pick, you know, I mean, because there's certain, I don't know a whole lot about music, but I know there's certain types of music. Mm. How do, when you have a quartet, does it just naturally end up being? You know, uh, no, not necessarily. You know, there's a... We have the mindset of if the music is lifting up God and if mm -hmm. Christ is being exalted and He's pleased with it, then they're on our team. This is just happens to be the music that appeals to us, mm -hmm. and uh, we're we're just fortunate that God has allowed us to to do what we do. Well, yeah. and are you all married? Do we go? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Me and Joey and Ben. Are married. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're trying to get this. Hey, somebody's trailing behind. He's an eligible bachelor, <laughs> ladies. Come on, he loves the Lord. <laughs> we do a joke on stage where Ricky, uh, we talk about the sacrifices that are involved in a ministry like this, and uh, Ricky says, "Boy, I miss my wife." And out on the road, it's, it gets lonely, but we know that uh, we're doing what God wants us to do. And he'll turn around to me and he'll say, "Joey, do you miss your wife at home?" And I'll say, "I sure do." <laughs> ben, do you miss your wife at home? And then we look at Drew, and he says, "Ben, do you or uh, Drew, do you miss your uh, hamster?" <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you know that I've been waiting several weeks now for you guys to sing for us. So if you'll make your way over to the stage, we're going to make a take a quick commercial break or a break for our sponsors. And when we get back, we're going to let you hear what the master's voice can bring to all of us. So stay tuned.
love that. What a promise we have. You know, I don't know what you're going through out there. I, we have no idea, but I know this, that God is sovereign. He says that his grace is sufficient. You can get through this life, not because of what you know, not because of how much money you make, but friend, because of who you know. Listen to this wonderful song. Who's going to sing? Circumstances find me in a place I've never been. Hopelessness surrounds me. The walls are closing in. And my imagination has wreaked havoc on my soul. I can rise above it all because of who I am. I know helps me walk by faith and not by sight who I know keeps me safe all through the darkest night and I know when my back is bent beneath the I can rise above it all because of who I know. I know he's my healer, he's my friend, oh, he's faithful, my comforter, on him I can depend. I'm sure of my salvation, cause he's washed me wide up. I can rise above it all because of who I know. Who I know helps me walk by faith and not by sight. Who I know he keeps me safe all through the darkest night. And I know when my back is bent. I can rise above it all, all because of who I know. I know He's righteous, He's holy, He's miraculous, He's worthy. And I know He grieves when He sees the little sparrow fall. I can rise above it. Listen to our brand new radio release. It's called What on Earth Are You Waiting For? Hope you enjoy it. What on earth are you waiting for? There's nothing here worth missing heaven for.
years of fun. And the old King of Gripple could talk to you. You'd say, almost brother, we'll never do. Got a head in the game. What on earth are you waiting for? Welcome back. And if you guys missed these guys singing just a minute ago, you missed it all. So you need to get a hold of their website. That was just awesome. I am <laughs> such a big crybaby anyway. <laughs> but, you know, the presence of God was so real with you all. I appreciate it so much. Thank we just you. got a quick couple of seconds here. Tell me about the new CD that's just now coming the out. The new CD is called Exceeding Abundantly Above. It's from the scriptures, Ephesians 3.20. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're real excited about it. Uh, the last song that we sang, actually, I think all three of those songs, no, not the first one. The last two songs that we sang are on that one. And the last song we sang, What on Earth Are You Waiting For, is our radio release right at the moment, doing quite well for us. Wow. Did you want to say something? Okay. It's just, <laughs> you know, there are singers, and there's, there's God-anointed singers, and that's what you guys are. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming Appreciate today. That. And, you know, just like they said, what on earth mm -hmm. are you waiting for? You know, there's a lot of you out there that we can ask the same question. What on earth are you waiting for? You know, there's a difference in living life just to see what you can get out of it. And then there's a difference when God gets a hold of your life. And right. shows you what you were really placed on this earth to do. So what on earth are you waiting for? If you don't know Jesus today, you need to pick up a Bible. You need to just say out of your mouth, Jesus, come into my heart. Because it'll be a life that you've never known before. <laughs> That's right. He's got a plan and a purpose for your life. Yeah. Just do it. Make it happen. Thanks. We'll see you next time. People that haven't been in abusive situations, they think, what is wrong with you? Can't you just get over it? But you can't get over it unless somebody tells you how.
The sad part of it is that so many people end up in these abusive situations and you wonder why there's so much depression? Why is there so much suicide? Mm -hmm. Why is there so much alcoholism? Why is there so much drug addiction? There's something causing all of that. Yes, it is. There's something inside of you that's hurting. Mm -hmm. And you need to understand why you're hurting. But I was still a child inside. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you, it's almost like you, you get stuck in a period emotionally. And you can't go anywhere with it. So I got to the point where suicide was on my mind constantly. You know, how can I get out of this? How can I just stop the pain? It was almost like I had an open wound that I couldn't get to heal. Child abuse and domestic violence can cripple you emotionally. Victoria will interview guests who are willing to share their stories of survival and the steps they are taking to heal themselves. I hope you like what you've seen and are ready to come and join with us. Let's make it happen together. You can give us a call, go to the website, or email at Victoria Lee at makingithappentv.com. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you might even find yourself in one of the upcoming books.